good morning students saira let's continue with chapter number 1 knowing our numbers in today's session we will solve the remaining problems of exercise 1.3 we will solve problem number 3 of exercise 1.3 where we find the estimated product of the given numbers children we have learned how to estimate the product of the given numbers we have learned that to estimate product what we have to do we have to round off each factor to the to its greatest place and then multiply the rounded off factors here is one example suppose we have to estimate the product of 81 and 479 so first 479 is rounded off to 500 that is that means rounding off to nearest 100 and 81 is rounded off to 80 that is rounding it off to the nearest 10 now we find the estimated product by multiplying 80 by 500 when we multiply 80 by 500 what do we get we get 40000 so the estimated product of 81 and 479 is 40000 problem number 3 exercise 1.3 estimate the following products using general rule a is 578 multiplied by 161 so let's round off both the numbers to the nearest hundreds when we round them off to the nearest hundred 578 becomes 600 we can round it off to 600 and 161 can be rounded off to 200 now we found find the product of these rounded off factors so we multiply 600 by 200 So what do we get when we multiply these two numbers? We get one lakh twenty thousand. So the estimated product of five hundred seventy-eight and one hundred sixty-one is equal to one lakh twenty thousand. Now let's move on to problem number B. What are the numbers? We have five thousand two hundred eighty-one multiplied by 3491 we have to estimate the product of these two numbers so first what we do what do we do we round off both the numbers to the nearest thousands 5281 can be rounded off to 5000 and 3491 can be rounded off to 3000 now we multiply these two rounded off factors so when we multiply 5000 and 3000 what do we get we get 1 crore 50 lakhs so the estimated product of these two numbers is 1 crore 50 lakhs now let's see what is problem number c here we have 1291 multiplied by 592 so we will round off the numbers to the nearest hundreds 1291 can be rounded off to 1300 and 5592 can be rounded off to 600 now we can multiply these two rounded off factors we multiply 1300 by 600 when we multiply these two factors what do we get we get 7 uh, lakhs 80000 so the estimated product of 1291 and 592 is equal to 7 lakhs 80000 let us see the next problem problem number d Here we have nine thousand two hundred and fifty multiplied by twenty nine. So what do we do? We will round off 
9250 to the nearest thousands that is to 9000. It can be rounded off to 9000 and 29 we can round it off to 30. Now we multiply these two rounded off numbers. So we multiply 9000 by 30. So what do we get when we multiply these two numbers? We get 270,000. So the estimated product of 9250 and 29 is equal to 2,70,000. Children with this problem we come to the end of exercise 1.3. Now let us move on to the next topic using brackets children we use brackets uh, in the mathematical operations when we need to carry out more than one mathematical operation to avoid confusion we can use brackets so we can we use brackets to avoid confusion when we have to carry out more than one number operation for example here we have 7 plus 6 multiplied by 10 so we uh, can also solve this uh, like this without the bracket if it is given like this we can solve it like this 7 plus 60 it becomes 67. But what we have to do actually we have to take 7 plus 6 into the bracket and multiply it by 10. When we add 7 and 6 and take it as one number and multiply it by 10 what do we get? We get 13 multiplied by 10 that means 130, 130. So this is the correct way of solving this problem. So what we have to do? We have to first turn everything inside the bracket into one single number and then we have to do the operation outside the bracket. So this way we can use the brackets when we have to carry out more than one mathematical operation to avoid confusion. Expanding brackets, children brackets can also help us in systematic and easy calculations. For example, if we want to multiply 7 into 109, we can uh, split 109 as 100 plus 9 and put it inside the bracket. Now we can multiply 7 by 100 and plus 7 multiplied by 9. So it becomes 700 plus 63 and we get the answer as 763. With the use of brackets such uh, stepwise calculations become easy. Now in the second example we can see we have 102 multiplied by 103. So to, ease, uh, to make the calculation easy we can write 102 as 100 plus 2 and 103 as 100 plus 3 but we have to put them in brackets inside brackets to do math, uh, systematic calculation. So 100 plus 2 inside the bracket multiplied by inside the bracket again 100 plus 3. So 102 is multiplied first by 100 like this multiplied by 100 then we put plus sign addition sign and then 100 plus 2 multiplied by 3. So in the next step we can open the bracket and this 100 is multiplied by 100 plus 2 multiplied by 100 plus 100 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 3. So it becomes in the next step we take 10,000 plus 200 plus 300 plus 6. So it becomes 10,000 plus 500 plus 6 and we get the answer as 10,506. So the, with the use of brackets in such operations, we can uh, do systematic calculations. children with this topic I am going to end the session here we will do and understand the next topic in our coming session thank you